Hello and welcome. This is Kara and I am here with day nine of the October daily that Pink Odd Bird and Release of Crafting are hosting. And today's prompt is no one is in the bedroom when you enter. Once in the room, you notice a giant creepy tree outside the window. So I have gathered some things. I've done a little bit of uh, prep ahead work. Um, I thought it would be funny as this as my creepy tree. And I just kind of inked it and added some fun Tim, Tim Holtz Distress Mica stain. And this is a Tim Holtz frame that I've added some packaging to and some, um, you know, foam. <laughs> to give it a little lift off of the page so there's a little space between the window frame and um, the tree and then this is also from Tim Holtz it's in his layer packages um, and I thought it'd be fun to have the curtain in front and then I also found um, a bat that's upside down hanging from the tree and then one flying and then I pulled a couple other things out I don't think the moon's gonna work but I was thinking maybe the clock could be in the bedroom. And then I printed this out for a night sky. And then this is the Tim Holtz worn wallpaper. So this will be the wallpaper in the bedroom. Um, so yeah. So uh, <laughs> if you're new here, my name is Kara Brandon and I make digital kits on Etsy and my website, um, Kara Brandon Creations, and I'll have that linked below if you're interested in checking anything out. Okay, so let's start with maybe gluing on the wallpaper and look how perfect the size is. It was meant to be. I could distress it maybe, huh? Have some like rippity bits. Ooh, that might be fun. Rip off this edge a little. Just a little random. Maybe one over here. And maybe a crinkly, crinkly bit. Distress Oxide Black Soot. So you can go in and Oh my gosh, we're just going for it. We're just going to wrinkle the whole thing. There we go. And then I can kind of... Let's do the same thing with vintage photo. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this one. I'll be right back. Okay, there is the wallpaper. All right, and the next thing I want to do is cut this down for the frame. And I want this to 
kind of, since it has a flat edge, I kind of want it to go to what would be the floor. So kind of like that. And then we need to figure out where the tree is going to go. good and then we'll add the bat up to this one. And then we're going to trim some of these off. Okay, I like that. Alright, so then we're going to take the double-sided tape off. This is the moment of truth. There we go. And then we can trim this side off. Okay. Now, where do we want this to go? And then I have some foam tape that we can stack up there. I don't have hands. I thought I did. So I thought this skull and crossbones would look really cool right there. So I'm going to glue that on. Stick that on. Hopefully the <laughs> glue will dry. So on the parts of the wallpaper that are peeling away, I put this here. Maybe it's a clue to what was in this house before. So this has, you just hear, see the end of um, the word apothecary. So maybe it was hidden behind. And then also I did a couple. Here un under the wallpaper, there's the word caution. And here the word condemned. So this house has a mystery. <laughs> All right, so there is my final page. I think it turned out pretty good. All right, and now I will add number nine, maybe down here, down at the bottom. All right, there it is. Thank you so much for joining me. And tomorrow, stay tuned for Bella Boo Creations with day 10. Thanks so much and have a wonderfully crafty day. Spooky crafty day. Bye-bye.